All right, in this video, we are going to have a look at how to set up an event calendar in React using ScheduleX. Now, I'm here in my code editor where I have just set up a fresh project with Vite and React. So far, I haven't done very much, except I set box sizing to border box for all elements. And in my app.tsx, I cleared out some boilerplate code. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download some dependencies from NPM. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste those from the documentation website. And don't worry, I'm gonna paste this into the notes. So I'm gonna copy those dependencies and go to my editor again and say npm install schedulex react and schedulex theme default. And that was pretty fast. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type Schedule X calendar. And there we go. So now we've set up the calendar component itself. And this component takes one prop, which is the calendar app. And for defining this, I'm gonna need the use calendar app hook. And I'm gonna use that by saying const calendar equals use calendar app. And this hook now takes one parameter, which is a configuration object. And you can read on the documentation side about all the different properties, but I'm just gonna show you a couple of them here. So the first and maybe most important things, uh, thing we need to define is the views property here. So by default, ScheduleX doesn't ship with any views. And this is for the very simple reason that I want bundle sizes to stay small for anyone using the library. So in order to import these views, we can say import from ScheduleX calendar. This was installed as a peer dependency. And there we can say create view week if we want like a regular week view. And we can say create view month grid. And then we can initialize those views by saying create view week and create, whoops, create view month grid. And if we run this in a bit, this means we're gonna initialize the calendar with two different views. Another property that isn't required but makes a lot of sense to define is the events list. So at the very heart of any event calendar, of course, are the events that we want to show. And uh, probably in your case, you're going to get these events from some API or iCalendar file. But here I'm just going to hard code one event. So I'm going to say ID one, and I'm going to give this event the title of my new event. The event also has two required properties, which are start and end. And let's just say this event starts at 1st of January at midnight. We're gonna copy paste this and say that it ends two hours later. So I'm also gonna go ahead and say that we have a selected date of 2025, 1st of January. We can remove the timestamp here and this is gonna have our calendar render on this date. And uh, I think that is almost it. One thing missing is the theme itself. So before running this, I'm just gonna say import schedulex theme default, and then there's a calendar.css file in there. So with that, I think we are ready to run. So I'm just gonna say npm run dev and go to the browser, and there we go. Now, this is not exactly what you might be hoping for when you see a calendar, because this is like huge, or it's very tall, and it's not as wide as I would want my calendar to be. But if you do check the documentation website, you see that it says the ScheduleX calendar is responsive. And in order to achieve this, it cannot be delivered with a fixed height or width. So you need to define those things. So I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna take those styles from the website 
and I'm gonna add those to my index CSS and voila that looks more like it so one last thing I want to show you guys is how to add a plugin so like I said by default the calendar doesn't ship with all the functionalities that are available but you need to install some of them so at the moment I can't drag and drop anything here I can't view like any extra data even if there was some data here so like let me show you if I add for example a description prop here and I say my cool description that's not going to show up by default but there is a way to do this so I'm going to go ahead and stop the the app and then I'm going to say npm install schedule x drag and drop and I'm also going to say schedule x event modal so that's going to install two plugins and after they have downloaded we configure our plugins like so with a plugins property and then we say create event modal plugin and we say create drag and drop plugin and if I run this again I can now drag and drop that event also in the month view the drag and drop should work and if I now click the event there's going to be a modal with my cool description so we just set up a full event calendar in like 30 lines of code that is almost nothing you can easily do so yourself if you enjoy this tutorial then please like and subscribe and see you in the next one